Hi everyone, namaste, welcome to practice. Take your comfortable seat, uh, sit on a block if that's uh, more comfortable. Place the hands by the side of the hips. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And exhale, palms touch, namaste mudra. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms touch, anjali mudra. One more, breathe in, lift the arms up. Exhale, palms touch. On the next one, inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, twist to your right side. Use the left hand to gently nudge that right knee away. Right hand to the mat behind. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. And really today's theme is twists. One of my favorite themed classes to teach and practice. Inhale, reach the arms up, untwist. And exhale, swap side. Each time you breathe in, feel the openness in the chest. Each time you breathe out, twist a little deeper to the left side. Untwist, inhale, arms float up. And exhale, palms touch. All fours position, tabletop, hands and knees. And breathe in, lift the chin, lift the chest, arch. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, lift the heart center, lift the sitting bones. Exhale, round through the back. One more, inhale to lift and arch. Exhale, round, warming up through the spine. And come into neutral spine, stretch the right leg out to the back. And now cross it over as you tuck the toes onto the mat. Stretch the heel, reach back, inhale. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Take it to the left elbow, to the right, and then reach back, cross it over. Stretch through the calf. And then take it to the right, to the left, to the right elbow, and reach back. Kick through the heel. To the right side, to the left, tricep nice and high to the right, and reach One more. And release the knee to the floor. Switch left leg out to the back, cross it over the right foot, reach the left heel and take it left elbow, right elbow, left and reach back, cross it over. And let's do two more, just like this. Keep the knee nice and high each time you reach for the shoulder or the tricep. Keep hugging your belly in to create space and release the knee to the mat. Reach back downward facing dog as you pedal out through the feet, bend the right knee and the left knee. I really like to take my time here as I bend one knee, I stretch out the back, other leg. You can go fast or slow, it really, really see how you feel. And then find stillness as you stretch out through the back of the legs. Wave the body forward plank position and reach back downward facing dog. Inhale plank, lift the heels, wave through the spine, come forward. Exhale, hips pull back downward facing dog. Breathe and wave through the spine, plank. And exhale, reach back, down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, step or hop, feet up. Inhale, lift heart. Exhale, fold. Grab onto opposite elbows and you can sway. Soft bend in the knees. Release the hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Use the blocks. Or if you don't have blocks, place your left fingertips on the mat, just in front of your feet. Bend your left knee, reach the right arm up to the ceiling. You're twisting to the right side. Release the right hand, bend your right knee. Straighten the left leg as you reach the left arm up. Release, switch, right arm reaches up. And you can stay here or straighten the left leg. It's a lot more challenging with the left leg straight. Or keep the left knee bent. Focus on the twist. Release the right hand down, switch left arm up. 
right knee stays bent or straighten through the right leg. See how you feel. Lots of space as you twist. Lower the left hand down now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Breathe and halfway lift again. Exhale, chest closer to thigh. One more. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, plank position. Lower to, knees to the mat, lower chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, reach back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Twists are very energizing, especially the standing uh, lunge twists and so on. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or hop, feet up. Inhale, lift heart. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Palms touch above you. And exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hop or step. Plank, lower chaturanga or to the mat. Modify with knees as you need. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. And exhale, reach back into your downward facing dog. Continue breathing in through nose, out through nose. Inhale, heels lift, exhale, knees bend. Walk or step or hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up to the skies. And exhale, palms touch in front of the heart. One more round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift heart center. Exhale, take your vinyasa of your choice. Follow the breath. As you reach back into down dog, close your eyes and withdraw in all your senses. A glimpse of pratyahara, internalization of all the senses. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or hop feet up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms touch. Release the hands. Creative sequence. Bend your knees, arms reach up. Utkatasana. Bring the palms to touch in front of the heart and twist to the right side. Parivritta Utkatasana. Use the top palm to press into the lower palm. Lift your left heel. Now maintain your balance and hold. If this is too much, you can always keep your feet down and enjoy the twist as it was. Release the foot. Untwist reach forward palms touch take a breath in exhale take it to the other side left side hook the right elbow around the left thigh look at one point and now elevate the right heel balance you've got this lower the foot down untwist chair pose breathe in exhale forward bend uttanasana inhale lift halfway artha uttanasana exhale step or hop plank chaturanga or to the mat Use your breath in to come up into a back bend and your breath out to draw you back into down dog. Reach the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to left tricep, high up. One more, inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to the left tricep. And from your leg, thread the foot towards the left side. Look forward, keep the back heel lifted and stretch your left arm straight out to the front. Grip the mat with the right fingertips, plant the hand down, right knee to chest, step it in between the hands, well done. Lower the back knee, lift the arms. Bring the palms to touch in front of the heart, elbows stick out, take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the right, hook the elbow on the outside of the thigh. Now option to tuck the back toes and lift the back knee and that's the job of your quadricep. Fix your gaze as you continue to rotate over the axis of your spine. 
untwist, look forward. Warrior two, spin the back heel flat as you stretch the arms out to sides. Inhale, raise the arms up, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend your right knee, arms shoulder height. Flip the right palm up, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Reach the right arm alongside your ear as you stretch the right side of your waist. Left hand on the thigh or take a half wrap. Come back to warrior two. Extended side angle pose. Forearm on the thigh, left arm alongside your ear. You can stay here or reach your right palm to a block or to the mat on the inside or the outside of the right foot. And you have this straight long line that's created with the left side of the body. Uttita, extended, parsva, side, kona, angle, asana, pose. Lower the left palm down. Swivel the hands to the side, long edge of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, take a wide-legged standing forward bend. Parallel out your feet. Top of the head two or towards the floor. From here, walk your hands slightly forward, arms straight, thumbs together. Reach the right arm up to sky, twist, revolve to right side. Release the hand down, switch, left arm reaches up to the sky. Release the hand down to the floor. Walk the hands back. This time, use the first two fingers and the thumb hook onto the big toe and bend your elbows to the sides as you bring the top of the head to the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, release the hands. Exhale, hands and the hips. Feet press down, breathe and come up. And exhale, arms to the sides. Right toes to the front of the mat, bend the knee, hands to the floor. And stretch the right leg back, three-legged plank. Option to take your three-legged chaturanga or a regular chaturanga or to the mat. And reach back, three-legged up dog, three-legged down dog, and meet us in down dog. Left side, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to the right tricep, higher. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to the right shoulder, high up. Leg thread the foot to the right side. Look forward, right arm straight out to the front. Think of your right arm parallel to the floor, body parallel to the floor, back leg parallel to the floor. Lower palm down, knee to chest, and step left foot in between hands. Lower the back knee down, lift the arms to come up. And bring the palms to touch in front of the heart. Are you there yet? Yes. Twist to the left. Hook the right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Rotate the chest to the left. And now tuck the back toes. Lift your back leg away from the floor. Breathe in this pose. Revolved lunge twist. Untwist. Gaze forward. Warrior two. Flatten the back heel. Take your time. Find your alignment. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, bend your left knee. Reverse warrior, left arm reaches alongside your ear. Right arm to the back or take a half wrap. Keep the bend in the left knee. Extended side angle pose. Forearm on the thigh, right arm alongside your ear or left palm onto the mat or a block inside or outside the left foot. Firm that left glute in and under. Look down, release right hand to the floor. Swivel, walk the hands to the sides, long edge of the mat. Bend your elbows, top of the head to the mat. Actively squeeze the legs towards each other without moving them. Walk the hands forward, straighten the arms, thumbs together. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Bend your elbow. This time take a half wrap as you find your left thigh. Of course, if this is uncomfortable, keep the arm reaching up to the ceiling.
Undo the arm, release the hand to the floor and switch left arm up to the ceiling. Stay here or bend your elbow, take a half wrap. Find the t-shirt, the thigh, wherever you can reach. And the challenge is to revolve from the navel upwards. Release the hands to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once again, hook the big toe with the first two fingers. Elbows out to the sides. Top of the head to or towards the floor. Hands and the hips. Bring yourself out of the pose. Warrior two to the front of the mat. Hands to the floor. Zip the left leg back. Three-legged plank. And take your vinyasa of your choice. Plank to the floor, to up dog or cobra, to down dog. Inhale, lift heels. Exhale, knees bend. Step hop, feet up. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms touch. Second round. Chair pose. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up. Bring the palms to touch in front of the heart. Twist to the right side, hook the arm. Now find your balance and shoot the left leg back. So this is kind of a hybrid between this twist and warrior three. Keep your lifted leg active. Keep your gaze fixed. You've got this. And slowly land back into that revolved lunge. Release the hands to the mat. Step plank. Exhale, lower to flow. Or chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to left, tricep. Two more. Knee to the tricep and now leg thread the foot to the left side. Fall in triangle, flatten the foot, reach with that top left arm up. We did this yesterday. Lower the left palm down, right knee to chest, step it in between the hands. Shorten the stance as you flatten the back foot, feet hip width apart or so. Use a block if you need to, block on the inside or the outside of the foot. Same with the left hand, on the inside or the outside of the foot. Place the palm on the mat or on the block. Reach the right hand on the right hip, draw the right hip back in space and now rotate the chest towards the right side. Final touch is to reach the right arm straight up to the ceiling. Parivritta Trikonasana, revolved triangle. Both legs are straight, back foot is firm. Right hand on the hip, bend the right knee, walk the block or the hand, left hand forward. Shift the weight on to the front leg. You can stay here or reach the right arm straight up to the ceiling. Twist to the right side. This is quite challenging, revolved half moon pose. Release the hand down to the floor, land back in your lunge. And step back, plank position, inhale. Exhale to the mat or floor. Take your vinyasa, you can always skip it. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, hop forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Reach the arms up. We're on the other side. Palms touch, inhale. Exhale, twist to left, hook the elbow. Now shoot the right leg back. One straight line like warrior three. Active top, lifted foot. Gaze fixed. And gradually land back. Trust yourself into that revolved lunge. Untwist hands onto the floor, zip back, plank. Vinyasa or reach back, down dog, and we'll join you there. Left leg kicks back, inhale. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, reach back. Two more, just like this. And on this last one, knee to the right elbow, leg thread the foot to the right. Right arm up. Back foot flat like warrior two. Right palm onto the mat. Bring the left knee to chest, stepping it in between the hands. Shorten the stance. Prepare for, for revolved triangle. Both legs are straight. Use the block. Right hand on the inside or the outside of the left foot. 
Place your left hand on your left hip. First, draw the left hip back in space. And then re re rotate, <laughs> revolve to the left as the left arm reaches up to the sky. I'm using the blocks because I feel like it gives me a lot of space. Sure, and if you don't need the block, you can make it a bit more challenging by placing the palm on the mat or the fingertips on the floor. Bend the left knee, left hand on the hip. Walk the block or the right hand forward. Shift the weight, lift your back leg. You can stay here, plenty. Or keep the chest revolved to the left as the left arm reaches up, revolved half moon. If the shoulder, top shoulder is uncomfortable, keep the left hand on the left hip. Release the hands to the floor, land back in your lunge and plank position. And reach back, down dog. Knees to the floor, child's pose, rest. Of course, for those of you who'd like to stop this video here and take Parasvabhakasana, side crow, you can take that pose now. Arm thread the right arm underneath the left. You can fold your left elbow, placing the forehead on the left forearm. And switch arm thread the right arm, so the left arm underneath the right. Your left cheek on your right bent forearm. And release the arms. Bring yourself up into a sitting pose. You can continue to sit in Virasana or take a cross-legged pose. Bring the right elbow over the left elbow just to stretch out through the upper back. And breathe. Release and switch left elbow over the right, Garudasana arms, double wrap or single wrap. Breathing in through nose, out through nose. Release the hands and stretch the legs out to the mat in front. Tap out the back of the legs, the back of the knees. Bend your right knee and cross it over the left thigh, foot on the mat. Place the right hand on the mat behind you. Reach the left arm up to the ceiling, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the right as you hook the elbow on the outside of the thigh. Take another breath in, lengthen and exhale to gaze over the right shoulder to the side or to the back. Untwist, release, and switch. Bend the left knee, pick it up, cross it over the right thigh. Option to keep the right leg straight or bend that knee heel on the outside of the hip. Left hand to the mat, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist towards the left side. With every breath in, we accept a sense of inner peace, with every breath out, we release any resistance, allowing for acceptance. Untwist, undo the legs, and come to lie onto your backs. Bring the knees to the chest, and you can massage the back right to left front to back or circles. And 
now cross the right knee over the left knee. Take a breath in. Exhale, knees to the left side. Look up or to the right. And close your eyes. Bring the knees back to center, switch left knee over right, inhale, exhale, shift the hips slightly to the left and knees to the right. Untwist, uncross the legs, stretch the legs to the mat in front, relax the hands by the side of your hips, palms up, and allow your body to fully rest and relax in Shavasana, this conscious relaxation. no resistance and as we accept the present moment and we stop resisting our inner peace becomes available when we release and let go inner peace becomes available Now bring awareness back to your body. Reach the arms up and over. Give yourself a nice good stretch. Release the hands. Bend your knees. Roll fully towards the right side. And use the support of your hands to come up into a comfortable seated posture.
know that this is a beautiful sanctuary that you create for yourself with your practice you can always come back to this awareness and this place of inner peace at any time thank you for practicing with me have a wonderful day rooted in inner peace and releasing any resistance see you on the next one bye